everyone, welcome to Rest and Crack Owner and how is everyone doing today? I am so, so excited about all the things I have to tell you. First off, I have an announcement. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that, Robert. I hope she's doing I hope she's doing much better. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that she's done a lot better. I'll keep her in my prayers, though. So anyways, guys, who's ready for the announcement? Who is ready for the announcement? I'm checking to see if I'm online yet. Because I can't find my... Uh, YouTube, why isn't it showing up? Yes, I'm live. Why am I not showing up? Oh, there you are. That's why I'm not showing up. I'm looking at this. I have a few new things to show you that I'm excited. I mean, seriously excited about putting on. And number two, I have three announcements to tell you. Number one, hi, Diamond Lady. Number one is, that's what I'm after. <laughs> Number one, I am changing up my picture. Now, what do you think I'm thinking about doing for my picture, guys? What do you think I'm going to be doing for my picture? You guys want to guess first? Because it's exciting. Now, you know I went on vacation. And I took pictures on this vacation, which I will upload and every, I will be making my own official. I am doing my own official logo, although I am still going to ask um, Rachel from TSA to do me a logo, but yes, I'm going to be making my own uh, logo at the moment. And guys, my official logo is dolphin, is a dolphin actually. And it's one that I took when I was on vacation. And it'll say on the very top, on the left hand side top, we'll say Rift Guess. And on the bottom, it'll say Craft Corner. What do you guys think? I'm excited about it. I'm thinking of putting it in gold, but I want you guys' um, opinion. See, um, I can't use this one, although I would love to use this one. Someone made me this a while back. And I want to make this as my logo because it looks so awesome. This one really looks awesome, but I don't know how to go about using this. And I have to ask permission from the person who created this to see if I can make that as my logo. Because I can see that going a lot better than what I have up now, which is the, the dove, okay? Number two. Okay, number two, guys. Guess who's going to be on the dp -a -thon? Now, because I am going to be on the dp -a -thon, which you're already figuring out that I'm going to be the dp -a -a -thon. Yes, I am going to be on the dp -a -thon. And the and because I'm going on the DP upon, I will give you my my time frame. <laughs> Thank you, Adi. Um, I will give you my time frame. Um, I am seriously uh, beyond excited about it, guys. Really, I am. Um, my time frame is 6:30 p.m. U.S. time to seven. 
o'clock, uh, seven, wait, what is it, 6.30? No, 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. What do you guys think of this uh, time frame, guys? Because that's my time frame. It's about, if I remember right, because I checked it out, I thought you guys would be excited about it. Um, I, I am going to be now. The third announcement on Fridays. On Fridays, I am going to start doing resin pouring. Now, the time I will be doing the resin pouring, let me pull it up so you can get an idea because I have it set up on my, um, my bookmark. Um, I have it set up on my calendar in my thing. And um, because I do do resin points, um, I will be putting up my resin points. So now because of the fact, just give it a moment to load. Because of the fact that my resin pouring, I didn't want to overtake anyone else's appointment. You know me. So, task, no. It'll be ahead of Mindy's diamond painting. So, it'll be at 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock to 9.30, sorry, it'll be about 5 o'clock to, let me see this, sorry guys, I'm looking, ah, there, that's the one, it'll be 8 o'clock my time, uh, well actually 7, 7.30 my time to, um, the end of eight o'clock, eight thirty, you know, to ten. So basically, my resin pouring will be done. Will be will be on will be alive because I know you guys would love to see me do live resin pourings. So eight 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 thirty to ten. Yeah, it yeah, sounds about right. So that would be seven thirty to nine for me what do you guys think so that's that that was all my announcements i thought you guys would love to hear those announcements because that's that's my that's my plan as far as i know of my thing now why am i not seeing this aha uh -huh. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? <laughs> okay, so I have been working on this uh, this square for a little while. I've been working on this square for a little while. So I'm over in uh, Australia. Yeah, I'm in Australia in Queensland. So that gives you an idea of the three things that's been, uh, but I am actually working on a new uh, graphic. Yes, Audi. Will that be okay with you guys? 4.30 to 6 p.m. Or whatever time is the best time on you guys. So anyway, back to what I was doing. Um, now, I came upon something last night when I was, <laughs> I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I want to talk about fish that are poisonous. Um, the time over there, Deborah, would be 5.30 to 7. I think. 
Central Standard Time is close to um, Eastern Standard Time, right, Adi? Or you can help me on that, please. Give all the what time, like 4.30. So it's 4.30 uh, Central. Um, yours would be PM, mine would be AM. In Australia, it would be AM. So, those are the those are the announcements. I'm just seriously excited about the um, co not the collab, although I love my collabs, but to be part of the. Um, thank you, Adi. Um, to be part of the. Help me here with what I'm trying to say. It'll come to me. It will. To be part of the D, D A P, uh, D P F R. It feels like a complete honor. Yes, West Coast would be about three thirty or two thirty over there. So two thirty to four p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Because I used to live on the West Coast, Robert, so I know the time zone. So, anyways, back to what I was saying. I was watching a video last night um, about these lovely little creatures that are poisonous, that are fish. Um, now, I am trying to figure out... Oh, and anyone who is going to the, uh, what is it called? Going to the retreat next year, uh, expect at least three of um, Rift Kids Craft Corners, pri uh, uh, at least three of my um, handmade uh, resin pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited. I may not be able to go to a retreat, but hey, I'm very, I'm seriously excited about everything. So, <laughs> yeah, I, um, I talked to Marissa and I, Marissa, I told Marissa I would send um, three of my resin pieces. And I asked them to, I, I said, because my husband and I had a long discussion and he said, don't send 45. Yes. Sounds like someone's here. Yeah, sounds like something came in. Is it for me, honey? Yes, that'll be awesome. Um, actually, it was for my husband. So, he's my husband says it's probably most likely his, which is okay. He he needs some he needs mail once in a while, doesn't he? I did get my mail today, though, guys. I got a DP, a diamond painting, and nothing from, nothing, I'm hoping to receive, I'm hoping to receive my mail uh, for, 
wolf pack. I haven't received um, my wolf, you know, my um, my diamond painting, my mystery diamond painting from wolf pack yet, which is kind of strange. But I haven't received it yet. So I haven't, so I'm waiting patiently for that. Now, guys, I got in the mail, which probably will interest you. I got magnets. I wanted to get some magnets so I can work on my uh, resin pieces and get my cover miners made and things like that. So I got my magnets. Give me a moment. Yeah, swing on. So I got I got my magnets so I can make some resin uh, cover miners. Um, these will actually fit into the ones that I was hoping they would fit into. They are kind of thick, so they would fit perfect into these things. Yes, oh, the possibilities. You're correct, Adi. Oh, the possibilities with those, with those lovely magnets. Another thing I received in the mail, guys, today which really excites me who likes um not soft drinks but i can't think what they're called <laughs> um smoothies uh, uh frosties things like that So I got um, six, I don't know, yeah, six of these, I believe. So who likes frosties and stuff? Look, you guys, what I received, and this will work great as a cover minder with a little one like this, right here. Maybe with a little... I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but it will have my uh, personality work in it. So that's something I got. And guys, there's one other one that came in that I was so seriously excited about. So ser seriously excited about. And that one, if it's the one I'm pulling. And nope, that's not it. This one, I believe, and it's heavy, guys. But who likes the world map? Who likes the world map? These are the things I got in the mail uh, yesterday and today. So today I got the, um, I guess you could say, uh, oh, I can't think what they're called. I got one of those coffee things. But guys, this is awesome. This one right here is awesome. I thought I was excited about it. Make what? I can make it. I actually have one of those little things too. I have one of the um, molds to make them. So it would take me a little bit of time. But here's one I got. That will be on my Etsy store. Rifka. R I V Q Y A H. Rifka. And this one right here is a globe. And I'm thinking of putting this on Etsy, my Etsy shop for a cover miner. What do you guys think? And the size, I think, would work great for just this size right here. What do you guys think? Gives you an idea how I will make it. So, but it still will have my personality in it. So that's what I got in the mail uh, 
for my Etsy shop, which I am seriously excited about. And then I got these in the mail, but these are not going to be, <laughs> these are not going to be, well, some of them will be in resin, but these will be, um, I sometimes give these out as um, when I mail out things. So these sometimes goes in those. So I got enough of my dolphins to last me for a while. <laughs> so it just gives you ideas. And, and I was trying to think what it's called. It, it, it's that, that fish. What is that fish called? It's, I can't think of the name of that coffee place. Anyone knows the name of the coffee place that has, a, it looks like a fish or it looks like a mermaid. I can't think of it right now. But yeah, I have this right here that I will be making into a um, cover miner. So I'm very, very, no, not a koi fish. Um, what is it called? Help me. Anyone like, anyone's Starbucks? Thank you, Adi. Yes, yeah, Starbucks. Now, I am on you, which is, no, I'm on eight, 806 first, and then I'm on you. So I'm almost done with this diamond painting here. So back to what we were talking about. Um, anyone want to hear about the different poisonous fish there is in the world? And why I'm well, I'm not scared of the ocean. I love the ocean. To be honest, I after all, I like my dolphins. But um, I don't want to swim in the ocean. I am very, very cautious about the ocean because of the fact that there are. Okay, so I came upon not an article but a a, a, a video. The first fish they show is a clownfish. A clownfish. How is a clownfish uh, poisonous? Well, I found out how a clownfish is poisonous. Not really the clownfish that is poisonous. It is actually the sea enemy it, it hides in is poisonous. Isn't that interesting? So yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, and how many people have seen a puffer fish? Uh, I saw, um, I'm not very keen on puffer fishes. I mean, they're cute, I suppose. I usually watch the fish guys. But the puffer fish, uh, I know that they are very dangerous, very, very dangerous. They, uh, yeah, they have poison, they have some poisons. And I think the yellow fish, the yellow box fish, the yellow fo box fish is, um, I, I think the yellow box fish is actually maybe a um, puffer fish also. Because it talks about it having poison. So usually if they have poison, wouldn't it be because we know the pepper fish has it. Now, how many remember about um, Steve Irwin? Ah. Yeah, did you did you see a okay? So the puffer fish, there's there's several different types of puffer fish. There's one that's called a box fish, which is a yellow box fish. The other one is the um, fish that has um, spines on it, which you know spines all over it. That's called a puffer fish. So there's two types of puffer fish, as far as I know. Okay, now. They were showing about, no, they didn't show Steve Irwin. They did not, I'll promise you that. They did not show Steve Irwin uh, and his death. They, they didn't show it. I think they did show it on TV, but I never watched it. 
Um, it was actually around the time when Steve Orman died, it was exactly on someone's birthday. And she was not a happy camper because of that. Yeah, the stingray. Exactly. He died by the stingray. And um, as I say, what? Why do you why do you buy off my little uh, pen? I didn't need that. So, anyway, so there's the pepper fish, and and there's the stingray. Uh, the stingray. I've actually touched the stingray. When I was over in, I think I was over in Coffs Harbor in New South Wales, and they actually had a stingray uh, swimming past, and I actually lightly touched one. So that was quite interesting. Uh, they feel like rubber, by the way. And so do dolphins feel like rubber. Well, it was at the top it wasn't at the bottom it was at the very top like where the where the flippers are and well not flippers but you know what i'm talking about the um the, not the fins help me here i know what i'm trying to say it's not the flippers it's not the fins they're um i don't know i know what i'm saying but it's not coming out i'm letting you guys know ahead of time i have dyslexia so my words come out wrong but yeah, I actually touched a, a stingray at the very top, not the bottom. It, it, it was okay. Um, I'd rather touch my dolphins. Just saying. <laughs> so, then there was the octopus. They were talking about this blue ringed octopus. Now, I seen one, but I've never touched one. I'm never going to touch one. They are so poisonous, guys. Oh my word. I want I would be too scared to touch them. I would be too scared to touch the poisonous blue ring octopus. You have to be very careful around those. Another one they talked about was the Mori eel oh yeah i love i loved watching steve Irwin. he did such a wonderful job on uh teaching some things about australia and that's why i wasn't afraid to move here anyway back to what i was talking about then they talked about the moray eel and they said that that was poisonous. Now, I never knew moray eels was poisonous. I always thought the eels or the moray eels was just, um, if they bite you, it, it just gives you pain. And I find out, yeah. So, as I'm saying, the, the Mori eel has toxins in it, and I did not know. Did anyone else know that? Because that really threw me for a loop. Now, I'm going to bring up something else um, I've been asked. If anyone hasn't gotten the book, by Jennifer Roberts called the Diamond Painting Book. Um, please, please actually look into getting it. She would really, I know one, she would appreciate it. And number two, it's an awesome book. She went from the beginnings to the end of diamond painting. She tells you where the best places is to go shopping at. Um, I'm still waiting for Diamond, not Diamond Art Club, but um, what is it called? DIY Moonshot to get back to me on something. 
Okay, sorry about that. I kind of went off the rails there. So, as I was just saying, that is one of the, the key things. Now, I honestly was really surprised. Oh, I agree. Oh, I agree. Definitely agree. Anyone who has not got, received her book yet or has not um, bought her book yet should buy it. And they're right now having a 35% off uh, deal going on. And I think Audie can put that up. By the way, I accidentally moved my camera. <laughs> um, poisonous fish. I know I, I was shocked when I found out the moray eel was poisonous. So the moray eel really took me for a loop. Well, most poisonous fish in the world, YouTube. No, I wanted something different. Uh, two million that are not well known. I could do that one, I suppose. Toxic fish. And venomous fish. Okay. And the world's most dangerous fish. That way I can go look at what I'm saying here. Now, in Australia, there is actually a um, snail, uh, like a snail, a cone shell. Cone shells are extremely dangerous. You cannot even touch them. Um, they are very, very dangerous. Um, not wise to even go near them be honest my husband told me that the cone shell the cone shell was very dangerous not to go near them not to even look at them well you can look at them but you're not to touch them because they actually have like a harpoon like thing that um they can stick you with and because they can stick you with it and i'm sorry i am moving my camera too many times today um because they are they they can stick you with this uh, harpoon like thing and you can get very very sick so the comb fish i would suggest stay away from them they're not good either uh, and believe it or not i've seen comb fish i have actually truly 100 percent seen comb fish have an eye hun they are not a pretty animal <laughs> Okay, I'm lost. I lost my train of thought here. 823. 823 is not that much. Where's the hearts? I had 806 here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yes, thank you, Audie, for uh, putting that up. I just wanted to make something to mention about, um, about uh, Jennifer's book. Now back to the fun facts. So the cone, the cone shell is extremely, extremely dangerous. Also in Australia, we have what you call the stonefish. Now this, <laughs> because it says there are two species that are in Australia in the tropics. They are very potent, they are well camouflaged, and they can grow up to 35 centimeters, and they rarely swim away the stirp. So the so when you go in, you better you better make certain you're wearing very tough shoes or something, because if you don't wear tough shoes, um they can pierce a rubber sole shoe. Where steel toes or some type of shoe that or stay away from the beat stay away from that part of the ocean
So that that's the stonefish. Okay, now question time. My question for you is what if you know me very well and you've been following me for a while what is my husband's favorite animal if you really have been following me and you've been watching my videos and everything you will know because i keep talking about it what is my husband's favorite animal that is for the next giveaway the small mini giveaways and um i will check the other uh the other one and check manage videos and i'll check and see if anyone answered the last one so i can do the um giveaway for it i need to make certain people are answering the questions Uh -huh. So cute. Okay. No one answered the question. Oh. Okay. Well, it, there's still time. There's still time. Nick and Tina. By the way, guess who my other collab is on this beautiful uh, November, in the middle of November. I know, Audie. I'm hoping other people will. Well, you know what? If you don't know, if you don't know the answer. If there, since there's nine people in here, how would you guys like to uh, guess a number between one and, okay, 10 people now. Guess a number between one and 20. And when I put start, you guys guess a number and you guys will win whatever. I think that'll be easiest. Hi, Dreamer. How you doing? So, guess a number between 1 and um, 20 because there's only 10 watching. So, 11 watching now. <laughs> Not yet, Nick and Tina. Uh, are you talking about for you? Oh, give me a moment to write start. Jeff? Okay. I said one in 20, guys. One through, one through 20. Uh, 45 is, mm, no. Okay. I'll wait a, a few more minutes, a few more seconds, and I will let you know the number.
I understand, Robert. Okay, guys, you ready to hear what the number was? I was hoping to get uh, all 11 of you, uh, well, at least um, 10 of you to answer. It seems only six or seven people answered. So the answer, okay, I'm gonna say stop now. I was kind of hoping, yeah. Okay. The answer is 17. Don, you won. Done, you won. So what you need to do is send me an IG message because I go on Instagram. IG message. Give me your address. And then um, I will be giving this away. I'll be giving this away with not this exact one. And I have different colors you can choose from. Yes, Dawn. Um, I have different colors you can choose from. I have, um, I think, eight different colors. Eight different colors you can choose from. I'll let you know what they are. And I would like to know what your favorite um, animal is or something because I will make you a cover miner that will go on top of this. This will be a cover minder and it will be a drill, um, you know, where you throw your trash drills. So that's how you can, um, that's how you can get in touch with me. Uh, now, in the, there will be a final prize, guys, at the end of this collab. There will be a final prize and guess what the final prize is? plus a couple other things. But guess what the final prize will be? Okay, you like a rabbit? I don't know if I have a rabbit mold. I'll see if I have a rabbit. Oh, maybe I do have a rabbit mold. Um, it's Animal Crossing Rabbit. Would that be okay? Because I, I don't think I have a regular rabbit mold. And what is your favorite color? So send all that information to me on my Instagram, please. And would you like it glow in the dark? I love working with glow in the dark. Don't ask why. <laughs> so, well, actually I do have, I think I have a bunny. I think I have a rabbit uh, sticker I can use to make into a cover minder. Either or, something will happen. And uh, yeah, but congratulations, Don. And I know Jerry got uh, a one something. So in the next uh, mini giveaway, Don and Jerry will not be in the giveaway for the mini. But for the final giveaway, all is open for everybody. All is open for everybody. Because the final prize is a TSA. The final prize is a TSA that is being given by uh, none other than uh, Rachel herself. She offered it. But that's the final prize. So, yay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Back to talking about fish. Well, I already talked about sea enemies. Did you know fire coral is poisonous? I never even heard of such a thing. That's the first time I ever heard of it. It has, um, 
it has protruding tentacle arms with stinging cells. And it'll cause a, intense pain if you brush up against them. Ouch! That scares me. Oh, you're very, very welcome, Don. I was trying to think, but no one knows the answer to the um, to what my husband's favorite animal is. So I'm going to tell everybody in this what my husband's favorite animal is. His favorite animal, guys, is a black panther. That's his favorite animal. He loves the black panther. So. Yeah, I'm doing something special for him for um, our next anniversary. Hopefully, I can get it done. I have a few. Uh, I have a few. What you call diamond paintings? There's like at least three diamond paintings that are the Black Panther that I got for him. So I wanted to keep, you know, do something nice for my husband. So, next, after hearing that, I never even heard of the fire coral doing that. What? Even a sponge? Some sponge species have developed toxins and tiny sharp spines as defenses. These can cause skin irritation if touched. Ouch. You get prickling and itching and tiny blisters. Ouch, 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 ouch. I wouldn't want to be near one of those. So some sponges, some sponge species. I have never seen a sponge species. There are more animals or more animal-like creatures that I didn't even know existed. So, yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Coral, there's a coral that is uh, very, very painful, and then there's, a, they call it a red coral, or a fire coral, and now there's a, some type of sponge species that actually has, yeah, in the undersea world, I said fish, I did say fish, the stinging hydroid. The fern-like colonial animals growing on submerged rocks or reefs, often where there are currents, there is a current that carries plankton, prey past their fronds, which are lined with stinging pulps. Oh boy. Even though, ooh. Did I just hear thunder? Oh my word. It is thundering here, guys. It is thundering over in in uh, Queensland, Australia. And we got quite a bit of rain too, which is awesome because we needed the rain. We all need the rain here, so that's kind of awesome. Can you believe I'm almost done with this square? Hi, Jerry. Oh, I love hearing the rain. It's just falling now. Yeah, I was telling everyone the news, the news that I will be um in the DP a thon. So I'm excited. I am seriously excited. So yep. Now, 
the last one. Oh, of course, I would forget the two hearts in here. Hmm. Um, I am loving this one, though. Just loving it right now. Because I don't want us to go through any more um, fire sparks we had. No way. Don't want any more fires. Yes, I have. Yes, I have, uh, Diamond Queen. I have actually met uh, a koala bear. I've actually held one. And I have actually touched a kangaroo. And we also have wallabies. So, yeah. Now, guys you know you know for a fact that i have my my time has changed to this time which is at um 12 o'clock australian uh eastern standard time on mondays it stays that way for the rest of the time yeah we don't want no more fires we are getting quite a bit of rain jeff and i haven't checked out the um we haven't checked out the the waterfall to see how well it is now i know i would love to do that but i'm not sure i can't even get it right now would love to get that though would love to i'm also in the um yeah 9 p.m central 7 7 p.m pacific standard time 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that's on your guys. Oh, you're still trying to find someone to send yours to? Is it one that you haven't done or it's one you already did? Uh, finished. Cool. Not a problem, Deborah. You have a blessed evening and sweet sleep. So yeah, I'm I'm seriously excited about the the changes. Just happy, so of course you don't. Okay. Eight oh six. I think was the last color I did. Yeah, and then the last last color is you. So I'm doing fairly well on this. Now I don't have one of those little rollers. I don't have a few of the of the other things. That's okay, Nick and Tina. I understand. I don't I don't I never complain, huh? No once have I ever complained. And everyone, Nick and Tina, in um, in November, I think it's uh, November. Uh, what time in November? I think we agreed on a Wednesday. Yeah, a Wednesday uh, in November to do our oh, no Mondays to do our class together in November. We'll double check on that. I think we agreed on the 18th or something. Let me double check this. I'm just looking at the, the calendar real quick. Yeah, it was a Wednesday. Wednesday, the 18th of uh, November is when we, when Nick and Tina are going to be doing a collab with me. Isn't that awesome? I love rain. Okay, guys, I want you guys. I want you guys to um, choose the next uh, square I should do. I have 45 squares, so uh, give me a give me an idea what square you want me to do next. I'm letting you guys choose. <laughs> now I've done 45. I've done. 
I'll do whatever number. 26? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Of course, oh, I, could, I could go upside down. Let me do it that way. Maybe that will help me get out there. Um, okay. So if someone wants me to do 26, the other one wants me to do 17, one, one wants me to do 18, and the and Dom wants me to do 20. Hmm. Well, I only can do one square at the moment. <laughs> so. And I think I took yours last time, didn't I, Audie? I'll do 18 or no, I'll do 20. I'll do Don Ross. Okay, Don? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, oh, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thank you. That works. Don, thank you very much. That helps me know what square to do next. So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. We're gonna unveil it right now. That is the square. Give me a moment to go up. Let me see if I got it. Just give me a moment. I was trying to get it so you guys can see it. This is the square they picked. This is the square Dawn picked. So we're going to do that one. I like giving my viewers a chance to choose my squares. It helps me. Because <laughs> sometimes I can't figure out what squares. I sometimes have my husband pick the squares for me, but this time I'm going to have my viewers pick for me. Oh, I can fix it if you want me to. <laughs> Is that better? Is that better? Uh, I'll check and see if it looks much better on my end. So, sorry, I'm still fixing it just a tad. That works. <laughs> I think that's much better. So this is my next one, guys, that I'll be working on. So let's see what my colors are. Well, I have a U, so I might as well do U, which is 790, which works out really well because I just used a U. So it should work really much better. Sorry for giving you guys a little ride there. But yeah. Now back to the toxins of these lovely little critters. So I'm very happy Dawn won. And let's talk about the toxins of these critters that we learned about. So the bristle worm, never heard of them either. I have heard of some worms down in the in in the ocean, but I've never heard of the bristle worm. 
it has protruding bristles which can injure skin on contact. In some species, including fireworms, the bristles are venomous. They break off easily, easily in skin and are hard to see. Symptoms include itching, burning, pain, and swelling. Ouch. Now, I know for a fact whoever worked in um, the whoever worked in the fish, you know, worked in the fish aquarium area, they probably know about flying fishes. Those are poisonous. And there's the lionfish and it says lionfish is and I'm going by the top ten here. Lionfish are Australia's best known scorpion fish. They grow up to 35 centimeters. And they can be aggressive and they definitely are venomous and they have spines that are venomous. It isn't fatal, thank goodness, but you will get headaches, vomiting, seizures, paralysis, and breathing difficulties if you get stung by a lionfish. Now, I was really surprised when I heard about sea urchins being poisonous. I did not know. Yeah, scorpion fish equals lionfish in Australia. Isn't it interesting? <laughs> so, anyways, as I was just saying, so on that front, we are talking about sea urchins. Now, sea urchins, I've seen sea urchins. I've actually touched a sea urchin, well, not as it was alive, though. I usually touch the sand dollar. Um, <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. As I was just saying, so there's sea urchins is um, poisonous, very poisonous. Um, it, some are venomous, long spiked species uses, uh, causes the most common problems. The spine breaks off in a victim skin, which can cause infection. The spines of some species disappear in a few days. Others have spines that can stay under the skin for months. Ugh. The punctures are painful. Ouch. So I never even heard of an old wife. Many fish have sharp spines that can cause puncture wounds. In the old wife, the sometimes derogatory name comes from the grumbling sound the fish makes when taking from water. Do you know the old wife? I never even heard of such an animal. The old wife? I never, um, Diamond Queen? You're the fish expert? Um, old wife? For real? Dorsal spines contain venom known to cause pain. They occur in sheltered habitats such as seagrass beds, wharfs, jetties, and coastal reefs. I can tell you they have red eyes. They have, there are red-eyed fish. Very interesting. <laughs> so we are on the next one. Now I am getting this one ready because I think I am going to use, and I'm checking to see if I have a lot of use in here. One, two, three, four. So I need four of them. Seven ninety nine. 
thought it was seven out of eleven. Yeah, I was a little surprised to hear about that fish. I mean, I've heard of other fish that, like uh, the stingray. I've heard about the stingray. I've heard, uh, I think there is a couple starfishes that are very poisonous too. Not sure which one, but I'm pretty sure there is one or two out there. But seriously, I was watching the video um, last night and I was like, hmm, I never even heard of these things. So that was quite interesting. Oh, it's so beautiful to listen to uh, Thunder. Although I was not a happy camper yesterday, guys. We had our internet was not working. Hi, Bianca. It's happy. I'm happy that you were able to make it. We already did the uh, giveaway. Um, Diane uh, Don Ross won, and. I am on my fourth square, which Don Ross chose the, the number of the square for me. So I'm excited. And let's see what else. 806 is next. Any hearts? Yeah, there's some hearts. But I'm seriously excited. Yeah, well, I did small squares, remember? My squares are tiny compared to yours. My, my squares are very tiny compared to yours. Because I know I can't do extremely big squares. I have to do small squares. So, so I, I think my my three squares here are an equivalent to your one big square. So. I will need to mark that. Oh. I thought there was 200 and left one. So that is all the fish I have. Um, I can double check it, but I'm pretty sure I named the uh, one was the lionfish. Did I mention the puffer fish? Yes, I did. The lionfish. Oh, there's a new one I didn't even hear of. Um, but this is, uh, I don't know if this is in the ocean, but they say it's the most dangerous fish is the Kanduri. Kandiru. Kandiru. It's a parasitic catfish of the family. But I don't think it has any uh, great white shark. The moray eel is the one I was talking about. Now, they actually... They were saying that they have something in their bite that has toxins in it. Never heard of it. <laughs> the stonefish is pretty dangerous. The Atlantic manta, the manta ray, is pretty dangerous. I would never want to be around the electric eel. No way. All these fishy things. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it to keep it um broad. Stonefish, lionfish. If it doesn't have fancy styles, it's stingrays. 
Boxfish and trunkfish are closely related to the proper fish. I knew that. The boxfish and the trunkfish. Like, mm, like what in the world are you? A stargazer? I never even heard of a stargazer. Lives in the water. But they're not anyone else Stargazers? Ouch. Okay, guys, do you want some of the Aussie um, Oh, it'll be fine, Queen. It's actually very fun. It's fun. Um, do you want do you want my husband's Aussie accent, guys? Nick and Tina, I'll talk to you in uh, IG about that. Okay. So here's my loving husband, so you guys can have an Aussie accent. I knew you would say that, Audie. Okay, they want your they want their dose, honey. Yes, Dan. I've been busy doing other things at the moment. You know, there's a whole lot of stuff to get in around this place. But I've been listening in, and I'm listening to all these terrible, horrible creatures that live in the water, which is just another incentive for me not to go in the ocean. Forget it. I don't know if anyone's ever watched the show River Monsters. At all? Can I see a yes or a no? So we're looking at a no response so far. Well, it doesn't matter what you say because I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Diamond Queen said yes. Okay, so River Monsters is about this fellow who decides he's going to go all around the world checking out stories of deaths in or, or maimings in water. You know, and he's discovered all kinds of things and he's attributed all kinds of things to what's happened. And for me, one of the most astonishing ones was the fact that electric eels can live in literally inches of water. Just inches. Now, they're, they're not on the list of poisonous things, but I think they qualify as dangerous. Uh -huh. So, I also wonder, some of these things, why do we call them fish? I mean, I look at a star fish and I go, That's a I, fish. I don't think that thing can swim. It's living in the water, but that's about it. You know? And then there's jellyfish, which I'm glad, like, the sea turtles can eat, but that's about it. Nothing in a fish. And they are poisonous. Oh, yeah, really. Especially the box jellyfish. And the Irukandian. There's, there's something, you know. The deadliest, we, we've got so many deadly things over here. There's just another one to add to it. Irukandji jellyfish. Okay, we're coming up into the season where you do not want to go swimming off the northern coasts. Of Australia. Hi, Mallory. Because that's where the Irukandji are. I sent you a message on uh, IG also. Okay, and they're tiny and they're relatively clear. So you think, oh, I'll go swimming anyway. I'll just spot them. No, you won't. And you'll know you've been stung because apparently it hurts like crazy. Uh, so much so that some people actually die from being stung by these darling little creatures. There's not a fish. Does anyone have any other opinions on things that are living in the ocean that we call fish? No, I, uh, I do do. Uh, Instagram do, hun. And it's like, this is not a fish. Why does it count? 
So I want to ask that question. I also want to ask, does anybody believe that some of the really big so-called extinct animals, do you reckon that maybe, I mean, we found the coelacanth, do you just reckon that maybe things like, oh, I don't know, megalodon? For those who don't know, it's a shark. Oh, I didn't know. About the size of a sperm whale. I think maybe, maybe those things just might be out there somewhere still. Oh. Let us know. I didn't know that you didn't have IG anymore, Mallory. So how, um, how do you want me to get in touch with you then? Um... I can email you on your email, but I don't have your email information. Yeah, another one that um, I would stay away from is this one fish that um, is in the deep, 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 dark deeps. And I can't think of uh, their names, but they, they have this lure in front of them and um, they lure them. Okay, night. Robert, you have a wonderful evening, hon. Okay, um, Diamond Artworks, I will actually copy that and then I will delete your email so no one else gets it. I'm kind of surprised you left uh, IG, but that's okay. Um, Oh, okay, hon. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to leave it up or not. Okay. I'll send you I'll send you a message later. And um Nick and Tina, you need uh send me an uh a message on IG and I'll get back to you. Um I don't get paid until the thirty first. That's when I'm sending it out. It will get there soon. I didn't have enough money to pay for something, but you will definitely get it before the 18th. I'm hoping they seem to always get their stuff over here, over there quicker than over here. But guys, I am I'm so so happy and so thankful for you guys. Um. I never even heard of the stargazer. The only venomous fish I definitely knew of is, um, I was wondering, because that's what I was checking in on, seeing if you got your DP for uh, DAC. But ours isn't going to be on. Ours isn't going to be on until the, uh, December, so you have a little bit of time. And Nick and Tina, uh, you'll be getting yours as soon as I get paid. Oh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, I, I read a lot of things about poisonous, poisonous fish. Anyone want to tell me other poisonous fish? I'll be willing to listen. I'll be willing to um, answer questions. But I think we have the most poisonous animals in Australia. My husband would tell you that he used to read a book um, by, oh, what was the name of the person that said the most poisonous animals? Jeff? Yeah, um, in a book that you read. Sorry, Pratchett. Terry Pratchett. I mentioned stingrays. I did already mention stingrays. I actually mentioned about um, Steve Irwin dying. dying. Um, no, I haven't actually seen the movie Kangaroo Jack. I've heard about it though. We actually watched a movie called Cats and Dogs 3. That was quite fun. And to find out that it was the bird caused the problem. 
<laughs> and that bird was not a cockatoo. That bird was actually a corella. That's what they call um it's a it doesn't have a yellow crest on it. That bird is a corella in Australia. And I've seen a lot of those. We have galahs, which is those pink and pink and whatever color birds. Uh, pink and gray, I think. Uh, we do have cockatoos that fly over us. We have um, lorikeets. Can't think what color lorikeets are. My husband can name them. Um, aren't you glad? Aren't you happy you got everything off of the um, whatever and then started the new? Um, by the way, in Australia, we do not use a oh, I used to have a cockatiel, I used to own a cockatiel, and the cockatiels are so beautiful animals such a beautiful animal yeah mine was named if i remember right his name was miss mitzvah I'll, I'll type it so you guys know mitzvah that was the name of my cockatiel uh the um oh that's awesome mallory yeah i'm i have about four or five things kitted up already <laughs> i have four or five dps kitted up i never thought i would actually say i had that many kitted up You see, I had originally the um, the one I was working with, um, Beck. I never finished it. I'm working on it, but I'm working on it on my own. I already did most of the work. I, I did at least half of it, which is good. Um, the one by, oh, I know they can talk. Um, Mitzvah didn't talk to us, but boy, she was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful animal. She had burst it his torso. Huh? <laughs> I'm confused now, Adi. Um, so anyways, I had put it up. Um, my other one, which is, I'm so excited about Mayhem um, on Wednesday. Guys, the Mayhem is going to be live with me. She is. She's actually going to be live with me. That's awesome. That's awesome that she's father wanting to do uh, diamond painting. So, the second one I have kitted up is the one from, I'm trying to think of her name right now. She doesn't want to be called that, um, a certain name. So, Sherry by Sherry. And I haven't gotten that one done yet. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, Sherry. I have the one from Sherry that I have never finished. So, I'm gonna do it. that one was a pretty big one. You have to admit that one was a pretty big one. An eighty by uh, a, a, a sixty by eighty, or, or, or was it? Uh, yeah, sixty by eighty or something. That was a pretty big diamond painting for me. And then I have. Diamond art and stick and not diamond art addiction. I have um Creative Mayhem. That one is on Wednesdays. 
uh, at 7.30 uh, Australian, not Australian, that's Eastern Standard Time. At what time is that for me? I gotta look. Um, that is at 7.30 to 9 o'clock before Crafting Journey. That is my my live for that uh, collab. I'll be adding more. I'll be adding more things that I've. It is 1:24 p.m. over here. <laughs> what is start? It is. You mean I started it up and then I stopped? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I actually am very excited about the collab. Seriously. So, yeah, it's 1.24 p.m. over here, at Mallory, um, on Tuesday. But I am so excited about um, Wednesday, uh, Creative Mayhem, and I will be doing our live. But I'm trying to figure out how, um, because I have a one and a half slot. And then after that, I have another one and a half slot. Um, I got to double check when that one is, because she said that I have that spot. So let me check with Marissa exactly when I have my slot. Because she says I'm in the thing. Okay, uh, 6 to 7.30 uh, Eastern Standard Time on Sunday morning is when I will be doing my uh, my dp a -thon for everybody to see. Okay, talk to you soon, Nick and Tina. <gasps> I'm sorry. I know. I am bad. I start something and then I don't finish it. I am planning on finishing this, guys. I am planning on finishing this. Well, I have my normal... Uh, my normal uh, collab with uh, Mayhem at at oh I have to look at it again which is your guys's time not my time your guys's time will be um, 5 30 p.m. to 7 on Wednesday. That's my collab with uh, Mayhem on your guys's two on your guys's Wednesday, my Thursday. It's a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Oh, that's not too late in California. Staying up till nine o'clock. I used to stay up until two or three in the morning um, in Oregon when I was talking to my husband in uh, Australia. Now, hun, what's one and a half hours? That's 90 minutes, right guys? That's 90 minutes. One and a half hours. Sixty plus thirty is ninety minutes, right, guys? Well, guys, I am getting close to my one and a half hour mark. I am so glad I got to talk to you guys about all the different things. Congratulations, Don Ross, again for winning the um, the thing. And guys, um, I'm not sure. If who signed in for the other thing because no one applied for it. 
I'm just double checking. So I just did from number one through whatever, and I think that's how I'm going to do it for now on. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. I think it'll work a lot better that way, don't you think, Audie? Do number one through 20 or one through 50 and just do a um, do it that way for the giveaways, the mini giveaways. Do you agree? I know it's a sad sigh, but it's true. But guys, I'm going to get going now. It was wonderful talking with you. I'm so happy that I got to talk with you. Um, you said it's Sunday, November 8th, Diamond Queen. Because I think she said it was Saturday and Sunday, no, November, uh, in November. Am I correct? Because I'm thinking my 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 um my Monday might have to be cut short. Uh, oh, you're very welcome, Robert. Um, Audie and I will talk on Instagram. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much. Yeah, I think that's what they say about two weeks from now. Um, I have to, uh, because I am in the, I am actually in it, guys. I really am. I'm very excited about it. So, yeah, my, my, uh, the ninth is uh, a Monday over here. So it works out great. Okay, guys, I have to let you go. It was wonderful talking with you. I am so thankful for all my subscribers. I am very thankful for all my friends on uh, DPing and also Resumware. And thank you very much for uh, coming up and showing your support. Please give me a thumbs up if you love my vehicle, uh, vehicles, my videos. Please subscribe if you have not already. Please comment and let me know how I am doing. And please ring the bell to know when I upload the next time. Many blessings, guys, and shalom.